Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be all about the new hotfix that was just dropped about 20 minutes ago. It is 1.4.2, which is gonna introduce some balance changes and bug fixes. Now, I know things have been a bit overtuned in some areas. If, you, if you've been playing for the past week, you will have experienced the Italian coastal battle group and the power of not only the artillery officer, but the coastal reserves as well. So let's go ahead and see what changes exactly are gonna shape up here. So let's see what Relic says. Let's take it from the top. After the release of our Soul Shepherd update, this hotfix aims to resolve our highest priority bugs while introducing some necessary changes. As always, please ensure you're reporting any bugs using our form here. All right, balance changes. Vermont Italian Coastal Battle Group. We're happy to see people really take Coastal and run with it. They definitely are running with it. I've seen some pretty oppressive stuff in team games. Trying all kinds of styles and strategies with the battle group, we're going to continue to track its performance, but as a start, we're going to tone down a few elements that we noticed were clearly over-tuned. Artillery officer. Overwatch recharge time increased from 20 to 30. So as they said, this is a start. I still think this is extremely strong. A 30 second cooldown for ability like this is nothing, especially because you can get this out in the very early game and you can basically shut down team weapons across the board. So still super strong. Uh, I was thinking maybe that they would turn this from like one command point into two command point requirement just to delay. I think it's the time uh, of, uh, that, that this thing can get out so quickly that really is oppressive. Uh, but of course, this thing is strong into the late game. Triple vet. It's got a wider radius. It's just brutal to deal with. Uh, manpower cost increased from 240 to 280. That's minimal still. Not a huge change. I, it's substantial, but this thing is still going to be very, very strong. Coastal Reserves, Colony Ability Recharge Time increased from 35 to 40, so it's going to come out a little bit later. These are very, in my opinion, very minimal changes. Um, so it looks like they're watching this pretty closely. They want more time and data uh, before really making any substantial changes, and I think that's good. We're only a week into this, and they're already making uh, balance changes, which is awesome. I, I love this, and, and Relic is, is shown in the past that they'll, they'll adjust something and then revert it if or change it again if they feel like it's required. So uh, hats off to them. Designated Artillery Overwatch. So this is the ability that you can call in on your own bunker, if I'm not mistaken. Munition cost increased from 80 to 90. So it, that's this thing is so strong, that's not that much of a nerf. Overwatch radius reduced from 60 to 55. Now that's a better nerf, but still, these are all minimal changes here. Um, Overwatch is extremely strong. And you can actually use this on a bunker that's not complete, I think. Which is also really good. Because you could be like, you know, building the bunker. Um, and you could be getting attacked and then call it in. So hopefully they fix that in the bugs. Okay, US Forces Advanced Infantry Battle Group. Advanced Infantry seems to be having a harder time out of the gate. Surprisingly, I know a lot of people were fan favorites of the Rangers. Um, Rangers are extremely strong, but with their cost, I feel like uh, it's not that practical to really get them out very early. I feel like it's more of a later game play and they're more of a um, incursion-based unit, disruption-based unit, more than like a shock troop or a mainline. But again, I've only had a week to play with them, so let's see what they have to say here. So we are giving Rangers a significant boost. What does that mean? They will have improved base performance, but also scale better with reduced cost and better veterancy justifying their high cost and upkeep. Okay, so ammunition storage. Correct an issue with ammunition storage reduced all weapon cooldowns to zero. Now provides the correct 25%. That's good. That's a brutal bug. Okay, Rangers. Capture rate increase from 1.25 to 1.5. Wow. That may seem small, but that's actually really big. Decapture rate increase from 1 to 1.25. Also, pretty darn good. Heavy weapon expert accuracy bonus increase from plus 10% to plus 20%. Ranger Thompson SMG accuracy reduced from 0 0.54 to 0 0.513. So minimal. Uh, uh, yeah, it's minimal, I feel like. Veteran C1 damage reduction increased from 10% to 15%. Veteran C2 now grants plus 10% weapon accuracy. Jeez. And you can get the... Veteran C1 accuracy as well. Oh, okay. So Veteran C3 now grants an additional 10% damage reduction. So they they move this around a little bit. 
but you could choose the ability to get that plus 70% accuracy while moving, right? Dude, this is insane. This is so strong, it's ridiculous. Weapon crate munition cost reduced from 190. I mean, this is a little expensive given the fact that it's RNG, but you're still getting some premium weapons, whether it's the flamethrower or the bazooka. Uh, my initial impression on this, reading this for the first time, is that this is these units are going to be extremely strong now, like ridiculous. They're, I feel like this is the the Rangers are really going to start dominating the mid game. Um, yeah, I, I, if if they weren't viable before, they definitely are now. The, the M1A1 at 105 millimeter howitzer barrage re recharge time reduced from 60 to 45 seconds. Okay, and then this is even going to get a boost with the ammo storage. So this thing is going to be able to fire on all cylinders back to back pretty quickly if you play it right. Once again, this is a really, I mean, it's because of the, the prevalence of the bunkers, but if you're on top of this howitzer and you're really firing this on a cooldown properly, you could really rack up the value. Uh, M1A1105 one, one, auto fire range increase from 80 to 110. I don't love this ability. I haven't really used it much, um, but a range increase of 30 is a lot. That is a lot percentage wise. If you think about it, that's, that's tremendous. And uh, I know it's relatively slow rate of fire, so I still would prefer a barrage over this auto fire, but I guess it depends on, on the context of the match. Um, Ranger weapon training, command point cost reduced from four to three. Now this is like one of the most insane changes actually, because weapon training was already bro broken. The amount of perks that weapon training gives you, and I was talking to Hunter Dak about this a few days ago, and he actually brought it to my attention the perks you're getting from this uh, are not just damage, but you're getting like slow of vehicles um, and you really turn the Ranger into a multi-purpose unit that's able to deal with basically everything, uh, whether it's vehicles or infantry. Um, so the fact, I don't think, given all of these changes, I'm really surprised to see also Ranger weapon training go down to three because that's just, once again, it's gonna allow you to get Rangers out even faster and scale them even harder and with these veterancy bonuses, man, they, they seem insanely strong to me. Bug fixes and changes. Okay, a lot of different changes here, guys. I'm not going to read through all of them. A lot of them are campaign, UX, UI. Um, gameplay, probably the most important. What is this here? Fix an issue where designate or to the overarching designated defensive line were usable on uncompleted bunkers. Okay, this is a really big change. This is an issue that allowed some vehicles to face through medium size. Yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. Observer Overwatch ability can no longer be permanently applied to a sector. Okay, yeah, so some great gameplay changes here. I'm going to read through these guys a little bit later, but uh, I'll include a link to the patch notes in the description below. You can check those out. I would love to hear your thoughts on this hotfix, the implications of the hotfix, uh, and then also your experience overall. Um, I... Obviously, this hotfix is very, very focused on the two new battle groups, uh, which are probably seeing a, a tremendous amount of play right now. Uh, but if you guys did enjoy this, go ahead and smash the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, the Surge merch shop is online now, uh, so go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link to that in the description below as well. Would really appreciate any support, guys. It goes a long way in supporting the channel and just helping me continue to create content. Uh, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.